What's going on? My name's Roman and welcome to Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum. On today's episode, we're taking a look at another Mezco 112 collective figure. This time, it's the PX Previews exclusive Commander Rogers. So let's go ahead and dig on in. So checking out the box, we have this very beautifully embossed logo going across the front, going around the sides, and then we're met in the back with Commander Roger promo shots looking really good, American flag not included. Now, this is just a slip cover. This is the old school style Mezco packaging. We have unboxed a couple of the new style figures uh, looking like Deathstroke and Spider-Man. So refer to those to see some new packaging and some new wrist pegs because this is old packaging, old wrist pegs, old news. It's an old figure, but it's new to me. It's a PX Previews exclusive. It didn't have it on slip cover, but it has it right there. So there's the proof. I like this figure a lot. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Same stuff on the back. Now, it does have a magnetic flap here on the side, which I do appreciate, uh, because once you open it up, that magnetic flap, all that trouble you go through getting that open, you have a piece of art here that is just beautiful. Look at Commander Rogers doing work. Hydra did not stand a chance. Uh, so this is where you would display the figure. Shield would go there. Uh, it actually looks really nice in the packaging. Uh, I would think that the ones with the open art display like this are a lot better for the open display. So I, for inbox display, I mean. Uh, so that's my recommendation. Um, 15 and up. As time goes on, they'll say 18 and up. So three more years get tacked on, even though I feel like these figures require uh, the 18 and up one and the other ones don't. So looking at this figure, boom, just came out of nowhere. How you like me now? Uh, we have Commander Rogers here, and uh, he is well, uh, well on his way to being a, a proper American. If we can just get him to stand up a little bit straighter. There we go. Ah, there we go. Commander Rogers looking fantastic. Um, so this is a separate piece. This came um, underneath the packaging. Uh, that came in a, in a separate little thing, kind of in the back. There's two layers of packaging. There's the figure, and then underneath there's the arm with the bag. This came in that bottom layer with the arm and the bag. That has a magnet right here in the middle of the back. That strap has a magnet in the middle of the back, so you can uh, put on the shield. There's a magnet for the shield. There's also magnets in each of the forearms, so it'll stick on, as you can see there. Uh, let's take a look at this hunting knife. That sheath is just there forever, so it's actually a really nice little hunting knife. He does come with a set of hands for holding it. He has 11 hands total. That's right, 11. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessory bag. We have the saluting hand and a grabby hand right here. Uh, we also have a fist hand right here, and we also have an avalanche of hands right here. Yes. Okay, so here we have the clear peg for the stand. That is something that I'm going to put away right away because it is hard to see it. I don't want to lose it. Okay, so we have a pair of chopping hands. Oh. A pair of chopping hands. Okay. Uh, we have a pair of fist hands. Great, for punching people. Awesome. Captain America needs those. Commander Rogers, I mean. Uh, we have a pair of open hands. Just in case we're not sure, we need to say, whoa, 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 calm down a second. We have a pair of open hands, so very cool. Uh, three pairs of hands so far. And Handathon 2018. Uh, we do get a pointing hand. And a thumbs up hand. Those go together. We also get uh, the other grabby hand for this grabby hand. And then we have the saluting hand. So we have uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven hands. That's five and a half pairs of hands for Captain America. Those are his accessories. Uh, the hands, the knife, uh, the backpack strap, shield holder straps thing. I don't know what to call that. And then the shield. So, you know, he doesn't come with a bunch of accessories. He comes with a bunch of hands. So you can be very expressive with your Captain America or your Commander Rogers. Gosh, dang. I can't believe I keep saying that. Um, you can be very expressive with him if you'd like. Um, so let's go over some articulation for this figure. Of course, that's just going to keep on happening. I don't like switching the hands out on these guys because the wrists are so super poor for or, or, the poor, the pegs are super poor um, looking right there you can see where the magnet is there's a magnet on the other side and the other arm and that's the magnet that we use to attach that shield to right there you see it's 
attaching. So very nice. I like, it's like a photon shield or a plasma energy shield. I don't know too much about it. I'm, I'm more well versed in DC than I am in Marvel. Uh, but this was a look that I could not pass up. And for 50 bucks on Amazon, I absolutely could not pass it up. Patriotic Hand of Death. Snake Hand. Um, so taking a look at the artic articulation, uh, it's actually pretty good. The boot sculpt is really nice, but you still get some decent ankle articulation. You do get some movement right there at the boot on both sides, so count on that for your posability. Uh, double jointed knees, very nice. Uh, movement at the upper thigh, legs all the way around. Movement here at the waist, we get kind of an ab crunch. Kinda. I don't want to move the hips and make you think that the ab crunch is better than it is. It's not great. It's okay. It's pretty average. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call this figure the most posable figure ever. Uh, you do get the double jointed elbows. Shoulders are really posable because there's no shoulder armor or anything holding it, um, holding it in place or restricting it. So you can really just throw the arms up and, and do whatever it is that you need to do um, with this figure. Flying cat pose. I mean, it can do it. It, seriously, he can do it. So it's actually really cool. Um, I enjoy this figure quite a bit. Uh, very majestic looking. Doesn't have any additional head sculpts. It does have this unmasked head, which comes with the other uh, Steve Roger Captain America figures. Uh, but this one does not come with a, uh, a masked head. So I'm trying to get this hand off. See why I hate that? Do you see why I hate that? That's the worst. It's the most awful feeling in the world. I just want to show you that this magnet attaches in the back very nicely. And yes, I know that I took his hand along with him, um, but I was just trying to show you that it, it attaches. So you could, you know, not use that hand and, you know, put a different hand on and still have him saluting while not holding the shield because he's paying attention to his uh, fellow Americans, but you can also have him one-handed and with a hand near his butt. So let's take that off there. Uh, I do like him displayed with the shield and the saluting pose, so I think that's what I'm going to go for. If I can get that back on, oh my gosh, the scariest moment of my life. I do not like switching these hands out. It's awful. Uh, great uniform. I think they applied it fantastic. The, just the concept from paper to Mezco figure in hand was translated almost perfectly. Um, there's not much I would say that he needs. I think he's a little light on accessories. I think they tried to go heavy on hands, but I don't think that that is where Cap gets his personality from. I think if he had some different items, like, uh, you know, American flag or, um, I don't know what else, but just, you know, I feel like he's a little light on accessories, but the figure overall is great. Amazon, $50. You really cannot beat that price. Um... You know, I would say that I pose him in any other pose than this, but I really don't. I pose my Commander Rogers in a very, very patriotic saluting pose, and that's just how I feel comfortable with him. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed this review. I really enjoy this figure again. Amazon, $50. You cannot beat it. Please go try it. Go check it out. If you haven't had a Mezco in your life, start with this one and then see what you think. Um, I thoroughly enjoy this one, and I hope that you do too. As always, from me to you, peace, love, and keep on collecting. I will see you guys next time.